going to tell you a tale of air quality in three very different cities, uh, Beijing, China, Los Angeles, California, and Atlanta, Georgia. And since I work for NASA, I'll be telling this from, from the perspective of space. This is a satellite image of northeastern China. And you can see this thick, thick smog enveloping the entire area and including the city of Beijing, China. And from the ground, the pollution, the smog is stifling. What is smog? Smog is a combination of the words smoke and fog. And it's really just a catch-all for any noxious soup of pollutants. In the case of Beijing, the primary component is particulates coming out of the tailpipes of cars and out of uh, smokestacks. So it, it occurs whenever you burn fuel, uh, such as gasoline and coal. And the problem with these particulates is that uh, when we inhale them, they can go deep into our lungs and they're toxic and they can embed themselves into uh, the lining of our lungs. And the smallest of these particles can actually enter our bloodstream. Okay, here's an image of the Forbidden City, one of Beijing's top tourist attractions. And this is on a clear day. And this is on a horribly polluted day. The levels of pollutants uh, can be 10 times greater than what's considered hazardous and 40 times greater than what's considered to be healthy. The Shanghai girls become increasingly distressed as the AQI goes up, as the pollution worsens. No. Okay, uh, you wouldn't be surprised to hear that this is not an official Shanghai girl. This is called the Beijing girl, and she's cr created by a concerned Chinese citizen. And in these situations, this air quality is considered to be beyond index. So why is China so polluted? Well, in the last several decades, they've undergone a, an industrial revolution. And this has been fueled by China's cheap and abundant coal. And along with this uh, industrialization, there has been an increase in urbanization as well as uh, the standard of living. So the Chinese people are uh, manufacturing more goods and they're consuming more goods. But more importantly, they are exporting many of these goods and they're considered to be the world's manufacturing hub. When you burn coal, uh, sulfur dioxide is released and it's a precursor to acid rain. It's the primary ingredient. And it also co is a contributor to these particulates that plague Chinese cities. Here's a representation of satellite data of sulfur dioxide, and you can see it's pretty high over much of China, uh, and it's highest here in this region and that region where there's a high density of power plants. For perspective, here is the United States, and you can see that the pollutant levels are much, much lower. Uh, the Ohio River Valley has the highest concentration of power plants in the U.S., and it's much lower in the U.S. because um, it's required by law for these power plants to operate scrubber technology. And these scrubbers literally scrub or remove the SO2, or the sulfur dioxide, from the effluent of the power plant before it's released to the atmosphere. The problem here is uh, the scrubber technology is incredibly expensive to operate. So places like China and India simply can't afford to.